Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. Uh, this is another episode of Tactical Book Review. And today's book is not directly a tactical book. Today's book is Peak, uh, The Secrets from the New Science of Expertise by Anders Ericsson and Robert Poole. I read this book because I was taking a Haley strategic course and Travis Haley said that this was a big book for him and that you should read it. And when Travis Haley tells you to read a book, you read that book. So I did. And uh, this book, I think, is super, super helpful from an understanding what practice is, what makes good practice as compared to bad practice, and how practice helps you get better. Uh, and then, of course, this book applies to practice in any category, right? Uh, sports or sales or business or marketing or being a doctor or being a lab technician, whatever. Pick, pick your poison. This book applies with its principles of hands-on practice. And, of course, you just apply it to shooting, right? And I can see, especially after reading this, a lot of wha what Haley teaches and why he teaches it and where he pulls it from, because he does, he pulls heavily from this book. And uh, it helps me understand uh, both his uh, training and, more importantly, my own practice. Uh, the book is, of course, about reaching the peak, right? Which, by the way, in human achievement, we don't know where that is yet. And this book was really impactful for me because it talked a lot about deliberate practice, which that's a specific term that means a specific thing, and they define it in this book, uh, and how the people who are at the top, right, the people who are the best of the world at what they do, they don't get there based on natural talent. Uh, sure, some people pick things up faster than other people, right, and they talk about that a little bit in the book, but the people who reach the, the top, the people who are the best in their field, get there by practice. And not just any kind of practice, but intentional, deliberate practice, which again, they define in the book. So if you want to be a better shooter, uh, if you want to be uh, more, you want to get your draw times down, you want to get your split times down, whatever, you want to be a better shooter. Just because you want that, or because you're training for a competition, or because you're training to save your life and you want to really invest in how do I practice the most effectively in order to do that better, this book is for you. Uh, if you're not interested in that, then, then I, wouldn't, I wouldn't read this book. Um, it's one of those books for me that was very uh, enjoyable and boring at the same time. I don't know if you've ever had that experience, but, but I have. There's, so there's a bit of slogging through here, but I found it incredibly fascinating, uh, particularly about the limits of human achievement, which again, don't know where those are, and, uh, and just the importance of practice and intentional work over time pays off dividends in the long run. So if you want to understand your practice more, if you want to understand uh, taking classes more, if, if you want to understand how you as a human being learn and absorb and train skills, again, this book is for you. If you're not interested in that, if you're like, just tell me what to do, Dylan, I'm going to come take one of your classes and you just tell me, then I wouldn't, then I wouldn't spend time reading it. But overall, highly recommend. I really did enjoy this book. And uh, like I said, it's been very impactful for me in my own practice. Do brave deeds and endure.